Honda boys are back. Today we are back on the FL5 and it has been a minute since we've seen this thing and it's got a couple of cool upgrades that I want to show you guys. It has been way too long since I've shown you guys this car so let's go ahead and take a look at all the upgrades that we've done and probably one really really big one that you guys can notice right off the bat. We no longer have the yellow. As cool as that was for driving around every day it was a little bit too loud for me. So we took the old FK8 wheels that we use for racing and put them on this and I think it was a perfect addition to this car. The FL5 with the Sonic Gray Pearl and the bronze Titan 7 wheels looks so good. It's the perfect touch of aggressive yet still keeping it kind of stealth and it's perfect because as you guys know I love to drive my cars hard and if I ever want to take this car to the track set up and ready to go and we also have the yellow raised wheels for track spares as well which is really really cool. Update number one. Update number two, if you look right up here, we have extended studs for the front. And we wanted to do this because, still on the fence about it, I do have the AP Racing brakes from the FK8 that I'm still trying to decide if I wanna run on the FL5 or if we should sell them. So if there's anybody out there that might want an AP Racing big brake kit for your Type R, we are selling one, but I also might keep it and put it on this. And we need extended studs so we can run a spacer and a wider wheel for the big brake kit. So upgrade number two, now let's head into the engine bay and show you guys what we have. Assist, please. Oh, I forgot how white this Vars hood is. It's pretty gnarly. Upgrade number two, two and three. This is a really, really cool piece. So we have a Cusco front strut tower bar. Uh, we actually got this during SEMA for Cusco since Cusco kind of wanted to show off their strut tower bar. Do we have a rear one too or is that front. just the front? Okay. So yeah, we have a Cusco front strut tower bar, but also a couple of really cool pieces from Radium. We have a coolant expansion tank right here. We also have dual catch cans, one right here, and then one that goes all the way to the back right here. So a couple of really good kind of like maintenance mods, especially if I'm going to continue to drive this car hard, take it to the track, etc. Those are really good pieces from Radium that we went ahead and threw in the car as well. But like I said, it's been way too long since I've showed you guys this car, and that's because truthfully, I've just been enjoying it. I was very unsure on what I was gonna be doing with the FL5. Like I've kind of said from the beginning, it's turned out to me to just be the ultimate car for everyday use. It is a near perfect car. Anybody that has driven an FL5 or might own an FL5, I know 100% you guys will agree with me. It's just such a good car. Tim can uh, attest to this. I was actually on the fence about selling it, sort of posted it on Instagram, then I went for a drive and there's just 0% chance that I can get rid of this thing because that's how much I love it. And I wanna to continue to do it just at a slow pace. It's actually been really nice to have a car and drive a car that doesn't have to always be modded for the channel. I can just enjoy this at my own pace and drive it like a true daily driver and just incrementally modify it when I want. And that's kind of what we have today. That brings me to today's video. We have a couple of really fun mods that'll be super nice additions to the FL5. One big one in particular, I'll explain that actually right now because it's cool. DRL, who you guys know we work very closely with on all of our Hondas, actually sent us a brand new intake to finish off our stock box here. So there's two kits from PRL, or at least there was. What we have right now is basically a drop-in filter and an intake inlet. Now, what we're gonna be doing today is kind of swapping that. We're gonna put the OEM inlet back on because with their new and improved box, the OEM inlet actually produces more power. Yeah, it performs Yeah, better. utilizing their box than it does with their actual PRL inlet if that makes any sense at all. So to start our video out here with the FL5, we're gonna be doing a full blown intake on the car and uh, seeing if it makes any more boosty noises. And obviously it makes more power, but we won't be getting a tune just yet. Let's go ahead and install it. Ah, our OEM piece here. Check out this big juicy box. This is what we're gonna be replacing the OEM box with. This is OEM and then we have the beautiful PRL. Now, quick update, PRL is also developing a carbon intake box, which uh, we will probably be switching to once that is finished up. It actually has a really cool air tube that goes to the bottom of the car. It goes like down the side, it's really interesting. So it sucks in air right up here and shoots it in your intake. It's gonna be That's exactly sick. what it does. That's gonna sound hopefully really, really good. So first things first, let's go ahead and remove this intake here and we can start installing new stuff. The big fat juicy PRL air filter, 
which is like, kind of like a signature part by them. They always have big, nice air filter. Well, look at that mega tube, dude. <laughs> Holy crap. I think this thing's gonna sound pretty cool. I think it's gonna give it a lot more like boosty noise. Should we, should we give them a little taste of what it sounds like now? We'll do a before and after for you guys. Wow. Well, with the hood open, with the yeah. Hood open, yeah. So if it's that loud with just the OEM box and like this a drop in filter, imagine what it's gonna sound like with a full proper intake. So it's gonna be good. This is what we're gonna be replacing. We have the intake inlet, but inside the stock box, we have the PRL drop-in filter, which surprisingly really, really nice. But it's really cool that all this gets replaced and we get to do a proper intake box. A proper intake. From what it says, it says high flow in. High flow, maximum airflow into this thing, which we need. Kinda wanna keep OEM turbo, OEM downpipe though. I nice think you, and simple, I think you keep, it, keep it nice and simple. I have a lot of things I wanna to talk to you guys about. We'll do it after we install this, because I, I have questions and I want your opinion. Boom, now we have all the room to install our brand new PRL intake. Why are you taking that out though? Because that's what the instructions say. Oh, because this delivers maximum suction. That goes over there. Maximum suck power, dude. Pretty cool. All right, gotta assemble the intake and we can throw it in. We have the intake suck tube thing this is really cool we have our inlet which is going to go something like that and then we also have actually dude, this box is sick yeah i cannot wait till prl like develops their full carbon box imagine this but carbon fiber it's going to be really nice with the massive air filter in there as well so she's all good to go let's throw her in the car and it'll be done There's the little sucker. Intake, dang. Oh. It's looking pretty spicy in here. I like the way that looks. Yeah, this looks sick. It almost, it, what I really like about it is it resembles the OEM air box. Mm -hmm. Except you just have a massive air filter right here, which is sick. Is We're this thing ahead. stock? Yes, officer. <laughs> We're gonna button everything up and we'll give her a first test start. I have to say that was one of the easier intakes to install. Everything fit really, really nice. Definitely was just a plug and play application. Oh, we did not plug this guy in and that would not work if this was not plugged in. So, boom, finishing touch. PRL intake installed. Tim, would you do the honors, please? I wanna hear this thing. So you guys heard what it sounds like with the inlet and the drop-in filter. Let's see what the actual intake sounds like. That's what I love about these smaller four-cylinder engines. You can really hear the induction noises, especially when we're under low driving this, it's gonna be insane. But let's see what it is just like this. Ooh. Yeah, that thing's sucking already. That's crazy. Oh! <laughs> Dude, that's... So loud. Always backfired like that? I don't know. Do it again. Ooh. Ooh, let's get back here. Do it again. <laughs> that is sick. Oh my god, that's so loud. This is gonna be insane when we go drive it. Holy crap. Okay. All right, PRL, see you. That is awesome. Part one for today, installed, but that's not it. We got one more item from PRL that I think you guys will really like as well, but we've got to head to the rear of the car. The rear of the SL5. Honestly, one of my favorite angles of the car is this right here with the wing. I love the rear end of the FL5. And one of my favorite pieces is the Varus carbon fiber wing. Now, 
To be completely honest, I have a spoon wing on order. Those things are extremely hard to get right now and the current order is six plus months out. But while we wait for that, PRL actually has an awesome new modification for all the owners that love the OEM wing, or in my case, maybe some of you guys do too, have an aftermarket wing with the Varus wing. They actually make extended wing stands, which is awesome because you can utilize your stock wing blade, but just make it a little bit bigger. So let's head over to the back. Let's go check this out. So if we come take a look back here, the wing is awesome, but could it be a little bigger? Yeah, and if you want a little bit bigger, this is an awesome option for you. What makes these really cool is not only does it extend it, I mean like that's pretty big. That's that's a, <laughs> lot of, that's a lot of space. Not only does it extend it, but it's also adjustable. So you can like modulate your wing blade up or down effectively giving you a, like essentially more downforce. So that's pretty cool. We're gonna go ahead and end our FL5 video with these awesome PRL wing risers and see what it makes the new Varus wing look like. While I was installing the PRL intake, Tim was actually working on back here, getting all the plastics out. Again, with pretty much everything PRL, this is just another super easy plug and play option. The bolts are actually just right here. It's three bolts that hold your wing in. Take those off, take the current wing stands off, and you can replace them with these guys. So step one, let's get our current wing off. Okay guys, remember this right here. This is what the OEM looks like. Let's go ahead and get started with the new PRL. That's a, that's a pretty big difference there. It's just huge. Okay, so, oh, there we go. Nice. We left them loose a little bit because I know it's gonna be some adjustment from the VAR swing, but looks kind of sick, dude. Dang. And we're just gonna leave it level. I don't think we're gonna adjust any of the adjustments here. Just leave it level to the car. Kind of keep it OEM looking, but you can adjust it. So let's go ahead and tighten this down and we'll be good to go. We got a big old wang. Dude, that sits significantly higher than stock. That is super, super aggressive. Let me see this. Let me get this. Look at that angle. This is big wing for people that don't actually want a big wing, you know? That's actually sick. The fact that, also, keep in mind, I have the VAR swing. You can also do this with the OEM wing, but my VAR swing is just a little bit wider and a little bit bigger than the OEM, which I think also adds to the effect of making it look really, really good. But this is a cool mod that any of you guys can do with the OEM wing to make it just a little bit more aggressive if you want it like a little bit more pronounced. I think that looks awesome, especially with the massive carbon front end that that we have it even makes the carbon wing more pronounced for the entire car i think it looks absolutely sick look at this little side angle that looks epic very big success for fl5 today Definitely a big win on the mod today. Let's get her back to the shop now that she's all finished up. Oh, this will be good. Let's get some let's get some sound here. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Okay, this is 
gonna sound crazy and it might just be a placebo effect, but the car's tone, the exhaust tone definitely sounds deeper. And I don't think you guys, you, maybe you will, because you guys notice everything. But to me, because I drive this car so often, the exhaust tone is definitely deeper with doing this intake. And I love it. <laughs> Before we bring her out, I don't know, I've been on such a Type R kick lately. I am absolutely loving the FL5. The new wing, I actually really, really, oh, we left some tape on it right here. <laughs> what do you think? It's very Do you know nice. what I this did? Is very nice. Do you know what I did though? Is it can you these? tell? Is it these? Yes, we did yeah, lingerizers. I can tell. I can tell. For it's sure. sick, right? My favorite view of it is the three quarter shot here. I don't know if the, you'll be able to pick it up on camera, but oh, it makes it look just a little bit spicier. Not too much, but just a little bit. It's like super soft. Honestly, what was it before? It was lower. It's just a, Is that it's a, what it it's was? a wing riser. Okay, okay. It looks way better. Like, it looks like how it should look. Yeah, right? Does that make sense? It's pretty dope. I'm stoked. It's just the little things on this car that make such a big difference. And... Perf, perf daily. It is. It really is. That's what I said. Yeah, you know. And I've been enjoying, like, just... Because it truly has been just the daily. I only drive it just to go around town and stuff. But it's been amazing. And I did have a question for you guys. I want your opinion on the carbon hood. Now, we left it carbon for SEMA. Dude, you gotta leave it. What do you leave mean? it? Why Don't is there paint even it? a question? Because no, I kind of want to paint it. <laughs> no, because because it brings out like it flows with the wing and you're the hood. right. No, come but on. But also, no. I could paint the wing. No, immediately. Okay. okay. And what would you paint? What I'm curious. The same color. No. No. Not at all. Okay, we'll leave not, it for now. Not I'm, at all. I still want to hear what you guys, uh, what the you guys have to say. Agree with me. Okay, we'll see. Please agree with me. <laughs> no, I am absolutely stoked. This is definitely gonna hold me over until the spoon wing comes in a year from now. But uh, I think it looks really good. <laughs> yeah, it's a, a there year you from go. Now? Let's get a little back shot real fast. It like Wait. angles it back. Oh, I heard that. <laughs> Come on. That's what he said. <laughs> That is, oh, down it here. Literally, yeah. Down here's the shot right here. Yeah. That's spicy. That is good. Uh, the... Everyone that has this car should get the wing risers because it looks so good. I didn't even see it from this angle. But That's sick. I'm I'll leave a link to PRL down below for you guys. But yeah, very, very awesome install for today. And we get the intake, the little power mod. Oh, you need to hear the intake. That's cool too. All right, you guys know me. I love movies. I love film. We're going and having a little movie night tonight. But before that, we're gonna go a little cruise in the Type R and go get some sush. What's this? What are we going to see? It's called Civil War. Oh, actually, uh, speaking of that, oh, I need to show them this. All right, the catch about tonight's movie night. Okay. I asked everybody on Instagram what we should go see. So the poll was Civil War or the first Omen. Oh, thank God, because I hate <laughs> scary movies. And you guys on Instagram chose uh, Civil War, which, oh, yeah. completely honest, I wanted to go see the first Omen. I love horror films, but Civil War also looked really, really good, and you guys said Civil War, so that's what we're going to see. Comprehensive movie review coming soon, but first, you guys are coming to Sush with us. Also, shout out to my new iPhone. <laughs> that was I'm an ordeal. Yeah, I'm super pumped about that. Okay, are you ready to go get some Sush? Yes. Experience the Type R. I, Look at the ins fire. it's just the inside too. Like I Look at all the space back here. I'm such a fan of this car. I really, really am. It really is the perfect car. I said car. that from day one. I love the red. You have your little badge. So, I also like the color that you got though. The Sonic Gray. Yeah. So, you don't see you don't see them. What they don't know is before I bought this car, we had wanted red first. Yeah. White. And then after the red and white, I was just gonna take whatever was available. And uh, obviously we got the Sonic Gray Pearl, but I'm super hyped about it because I think it looks really good. 100%. And it's something different. Yeah, yeah. I'm just gonna start giving normal person car reviews, like a, like a non-car person car reviews. It's the ultimate car. That's nice. Okay, so you guys know when you find a new spot to eat or whatever, you and you just like, like fixate on it, this is one of those times. We found a super bomb sushi spot that's kind of out of the way, but it's so good and I've been craving it. So that's what we're gonna grab and then go see the movie. It's called Firefish. Fitting name. Am I good? Okay, you have like three feet. Oh, carbon lip problems. Tell me when, I'm too scared. Okay, go. You, nope, keep going, keep going. Uh, Two feet, keep going. I think that's good. I'm good right there. You're not sticking out. Okay, I'm good. Not trying to wreck my carbon lip, you know? Okay, also, 
you even go to the movies if you bring your own candy <laughs> packing all the time. Yes. Look at this prime parking. We got beautiful FL5, but also Integra. Oh, it's really sprinkling here. Okay, let's go. start raining well this is kind of cool because when it's raining it's like perfect night for us, movie night us southern californians are a bunch of weenies okay 10 out of 10 dinner let's go see how this movie is I'm and so it, you guys understand if this movie's bad you're the ones that picked it so civil war honestly god bless you guys for getting me out of a scary movie <laughs> Show Coke acquired. Dude. All of you guys following along. Oh, nice. Okay, we're so late. Started at seven. It's seven ten. It's still late. Okay, we got the Show Coke. I'll see you guys in two hours. God bless America. Dude, insane. Excellent film. Insane. We gotta Gross. do a dot dot review here. First off, I need to say, A twenty four and Alex Garland don't miss and this was no exception incredible movie that was not what i expected it was no totally no, different but perspective. in a good way yeah yeah the point of view and the perspective also there's so many good actors and actresses in it it was awesome the action of the movie was unreal it was so good it was like so close it was like like i was in war i was there I, that's it was, what it made you feel like. i want to give a spoiler free review i know but i know but the action in the movie, it was the storytelling, the progression of characters, to epic. The ending, the ending didn't hit as hard for me, but it was a good way to end. And the viewpoint of it, like, I can't think of another type of movie, action, war, whatever you want to call it, where it was that perspective. We're going to keep saying that because we don't want to give it away. Yes. But it was... I'm telling, I think it was a 13 out of 10. I think you're being a little harsh because you're already a really hard movie. Yeah, Dud's movie review yeah. is an 8 out of 10. I, I stick by a 10 grade so scale. Unreal. Five and under is poor. Five is five and six are a, it's a good movie. It's a decent movie. I mean. Seven and eight, it's a, it's a great movie. Nine and 10, next to perfect. Nine, I, nine and 10 is Dune part two level. You love that movie. Because it was worth it. I would encourage everyone to go see it. Yes, if you're a and fan. Then, and then I want you to send me your movie review. Yeah, let's do that. That was, uh, that's Dutt's spoiler-free movie review. Stay tuned for the next one. Stop for gas and of course, how to get you guys some shots in the gas station lighting. It looks so good. I figured this is gonna be the perfect time to end today's video. Give you guys one shot up front in the rain. It looks so cool. I'm sure you guys can relate. I, I could just stand in the rain and look at this car all night. It's so rad. But all right, let's go ahead and end today's video. What are you, <laughs> what? It's half lunch with the bruise. <laughs> okay, look at this cow. Okay, he tries to make a sandwich. <laughs> all right, well this is how I'm sure we're gonna end our night. Thank you guys so much for watching. Go see Civil War if you haven't already. It's really good. Stay tuned for more Dut movie reviews and also hope you guys enjoyed the FL5 video today. We're gonna go and end this one here. Go back home and spend some time with Sparko. So we'll see you guys in the next one. If you have not already, make sure you hit that like button. Leave us a comment down below and don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you guys for the next one. Peace out.